Hi everyone, my name is Samantha and welcome to my YouTube channel Sewing in Switzerland. So firstly, I would like to wish you all a very happy new year. I hope that you're having a great start to 2024. And I've got a couple of things that I want to talk about today. The first is my plans for January. I wanted to tell you all why I've been absent over the Christmas period. And also I wanted to go through some sewing uh, new year resolutions that I've got for myself and kind of make a dialogue to see if you guys have any new year's resolutions as well. So firstly, why I have been missing. I literally fell off the face of social media, off YouTube, off Instagram. Uh, I got really sick um, towards the end of last year and I had to go into hospital for a week and I was very poorly and I have... Um, a lot of digestion and intestinal related problems at the moment. Um, so yeah, I was in hospital and there's ongoing tests and then I had to have um, a number of polyps removed and it was just, it was a whole thing and the recovery time uh, took a while. I was very, very tired for a really long time. So I just took a couple of months off and I didn't really, celebrate Christmas in a big way. We were very quiet. We didn't really get up to much. So yeah, team potatoes are great. They're having a wonderful time. Everyone is fine. Um, yeah, I've just been a bit under the weather. So it was just too tiring to make videos, too tiring to, to really do anything. So yeah, I'm feeling pretty good now. And I'm feeling quite refreshed actually from having not made anything for a while. So I've got all these exciting plans and ideas in my head. Sometimes if you have a little break, it kind of just frees up a little bit of space for creativity. So I'm trying to take what is a terrible situation or like a crappy situation and make it um, one that's a bit more positive. So that's my life update. So I hope you're all faring much better and no one is unwell. So fingers crossed from my side. So the next thing is uh, my January plans. I don't know if you remember, but before I got sick, towards the end of last year, my YouTube account uh, got deleted accidentally by YouTube. It was a whole thing. It was missing for like four days, <laughs> like just completely disappeared entirely. It was really, really stressful, but it's back now. And I've just realized over the last few days that I've lost not the people who subscribe to me but the people who i subscribe to and i subscribe to a lot of you because i like to see what's going on and i like to see other makers in the sewing youtube sphere so if you're watching this and you're thinking did she unsubscribe i didn't and i didn't have a clue and i've been wondering where everyone had gone because i didn't get any notifications over christmas when i was too poorly to do anything anyway saying you know so and so has dropped a video, so I had nothing. So I just kind of didn't really think about it because my head was too full of being not well. So now I have to go through and find everybody and resubscribe. So if you subscribe to me, do please think about leaving a little message so I can just click on your profile and click subscribe um, so I can find you easily and keep up to date with your sewing news and what's going on in your life. And yeah, please help me out. It's going to be much easier than going through the list of subscribers. So yeah, thank you. <laughs> so for January, um, I'm trying to ease myself back in to sewing because I've missed out on a month or so of of doing any sewing so I made this shirt it's just the it's an easy one it's a true bias Roscoe shirt don't look too closely because I haven't removed the gathering stitches from the cuff on the sleeve here so yeah we're just gonna pretend that I've finished it completely but I have hemmed it which is a winner so yeah I made it in a size 12 um there's plenty of like ease uh on it and it's just got some like gathers up around here some fun little tails um so yeah if you're looking for an easy breezy shirt pattern i recommend this one it is quite easy i would recommend it for beginners certainly um i had no problems with it hardest thing on there is gathering um which isn't is not a difficult skill at all uh so yeah give it a go if you're looking for a shirt pattern and you're a beginner to sewing so let's move on to the sewing new year's resolutions 
I've got five and I don't know how well I'm going to stick to them, but we're going to give it a go. So my first question to you guys is, do you make New Year's resolutions and do you make sewing specific resolutions? So I've got, I've got, yeah, I've got a couple. They're a bit kind of easy breezy in case I want to expand it or in case I get to the end of the year and think I haven't done, have not succeeded with this, but we'll, we'll give it a go. We'll give it a go. I'm giving myself get out clause already. So the first one is um, I want to track projects more closely than what I ordinarily do. So I'm really inspired by an inst Instagram account and I'll, I'll link her details in here, called Nugget with a Needle. And basically she creates these end of year um, pie charts and spreadsheets and percentages. And she tracks how, how the spend works out, the time spent on a project, the materials used. She really kind of, the, the money spent really deep dives into it. And I definitely will not be able to make anything even slightly as comprehensive. But what I might do is track the time spent on each garment, the cost of each garment and the wear of each garment. So, at the end of the year, I will have a, a list of successful projects and the things that I reach for most. So I can try and curate my my wardrobe a little bit more, maybe. So yeah, Nugget with the Needle, I'll link the Instagram in the description there. So the second one is very personal and it's to get out of my own head. So whenever I do the sew alongs or whenever I do these videos and I always say to you guys, we're not aiming for perfect. We're just aiming for finished. We're just learning something new. We're taking it easy. It's all very relaxed. There's no pressure. There's no perfectionism in this room. And then I switch off the camera <laughs> or I go behind the camera and I'm a bit of a wreck or I can be a bit of a wreck depending, you know, what's going on and I think to myself well obviously I have to make this perfectly obviously I can't have any uh broken threads or my gather my gathers must be perfectly spaced or my pleats must be perfectly measured and it just kind of results in this kind of feeling of paralysis so I kind of sit here and I think goodness, I can't start because there's so much pressure to get it 100% correct or 100% perfect. So just want to get out of my own head and recognize when these thoughts come in so that I don't then sit here for like two days, like just completely stuck in between projects. So yeah, get out of my own head. We're moving away from perfectionism. And I think the best way to do that is to acknowledge it and talk about it more. You know, if you're stuck between projects or you don't know how to start something, just put a little comment, you know, and I'll be more transparent with how I'm feeling when I'm doing so long and when I'm sewing as well and making these videos and I'll say, look, feeling the, the weight of perfectionism and we're going to just, you know, throw it out the window or whatever we've got to do. And my husband's favorite YouTuber is this guy called Matt Armstrong. And he makes these car videos where he buys cars that are like damaged or like really high end cars like the Karens and Ferraris and God knows what else. And he had really no background of like car mechanics or engineering or anything like that. And he just kind of taught himself how to deassemble and then reassemble these cars and he has this motto which i think is really great and it's it's hard work beats talent so we're never going to be perfect at something that we just do like if we just keep trying and if we just keep working and keep taking steps forward and then hopefully that perfectionism and that worry and that stress won't sit so heavy so yeah that's that's my resolution. I'm hoping that will 
farther down in the year when we kind of revisit this i'll be able to say oh yeah i'm feeling much better i'm feeling much more breezy about things so number three ah oh, so i want to i've written number three focus on my own enjoyment of garments so when i moved to switzerland there wasn't really it's not like in london it's not like in the big cities where you have different fashions different styles different street styles that's not really a thing so much here people wear a lot of uh, technical garments a lot of like hiking gear or walking gear there's no kind of real street fashion or street style that is a big a really big thing in switzerland um so it was very easy to just try and fit in and just wear more technical garments or just you know uh plainer clothing or stuff that i wouldn't have ordinarily worn maybe back in england so i want to work on wearing clothes that fits me and my personality rather than trying to fit into the environment that i'm in so again another work in progress for us there so number four is one that I want to do with you guys and I thought we could track it over the course of the year and that's complete more technical projects. So I really want to elevate the sewing skills and work on some really um, much, maybe much longer sewing projects over the sew alongs. So things like uh, a trench coat or a bomber jacket or a denim jacket or maybe a pair of jeans, something that's a bit scary when or you know a bit more technical and you think oh, yeah i really want to make one of these you know but i don't really know where to start so i thought maybe we could work on increasing those technical skills and and completing more technical garments together so number five one of the things i was reading about when i was unwell and i had a lot of time on my hands was ai software for fashion design and for sewing patterns and there's loads of new kind of CAD software out there that people are using. And a lot of it is free and it's all AI, you know, I don't know how it all works, <laughs> AI stuff. And they make this software that you can then design your own patterns and create like 3D um, images of the garment and then actually print the pattern and, and it's all kind of tailored to you so it's pretty cool so i thought we could try out some of the free ones and i've signed up to a couple so i'll make some videos on how they work and how i get on with them and what i think of them and yeah maybe we could uh take a look at that together so that is all of my new year's resolutions so i think they're pretty good you know we're gonna be less hard on ourselves and we're gonna push our sewing skills a little bit more next this year next year this year and yeah that's about it really so january i'm just kind of easing my way in i'm gonna make some some more kind of easy breezy uh garments maybe another shirt and another dressing gown uh maybe a dress something to kind of carry me through the winter season i would love to know what you're all working on for january and depending where you are that might be summer clothes or winter clothes <laughs> And if you have any New Year's resolutions, and it is very good to be talking to you all again. And I'm very happy to be back. And I will see you all soon. Thank you so much. Oh, if you did like this video, do please think about liking and subscribing because that will make me very happy. Thank you so much and see you soon. Bye.